God's discipline is designed to make us like His Son. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Lawrence Darmani. Lawrence writes, The theme for our adult camp was Comfort My People. Speaker after speaker spoke words of assurance. But the last speaker drastically changed the tone. He chose Jeremiah 7, 1 through 11, and the topic, Wake Up from Slumber. Without mincing words and yet with love, he challenged us to wake up and turn away from our sins. Don't hide behind the grace of God and continue to live in secret sin, he exhorted, like the prophet Jeremiah. We boast, I am a Christian, God loves me, I fear no evil, yet we do all kinds of evil. We knew he cared about us, yet we shifted uncomfortably in our seats and listened to our own Jeremiah declare, God is loving, but he is also a consuming fire. He will never condone sin. Jeremiah of old quizzed the people, Will you steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which bears my name, and say, We are safe. Safe to do all these detestable things? The speaker's brand of comfort, my people, was another side of God's comfort. Like a bitter herb that heals malaria, his words were spiritually curative. When we hear hard words, instead of walking away, may we respond to their healing effect. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place, in the land I gave your ancestors forever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you steal and murder? Commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal, and follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which bears my name, and say, We are safe, safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house, which bears my name, become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. That's today's scripture reading from Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you love us too much to let us continue defying your instructions. Your correction is never to harm us, but only to heal us. You are the God of all comfort. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.